here. Who in this who in this region would play for America? Mata would, Uber would. So here we go. We have a uh, Sheik versus Mario. A, a, it's a fun matchup, unless you're Mario. Anyway, both of these characters have their uh, solid strings at low percent, so they're probably gonna wanna. If you get like two low percent strings, then the other character is gonna have too much rage to be able to properly combo. Um, so it's as much as you could put off the first couple hits is not so important because I mean like you're both gonna get your low percent strings. Um, they really are pretty important who gets their low percent strings first. So we have a good forward throw to Bouncing Fish by Focus. It is optimal no matter what people tell you. Really fishing for a grab because this is still the percent where uh, Sheik and I guess Mario as well as we just saw can still get follow ups off of a grab and that was ridiculous. That was just very poor DI by uh, Focus unfortunately. Dawson going for the big hits as always. So just like that, we have it turned around, and it's now percentage lead for Mario. And more importantly, Mario's at the Mario is at the place where a lot of stuff will kill. Notably, up smash, forward smash probably would have killed from there. Down smash would have killed from there. What a traditional character kills with his smash moves. And now we're gonna see another low percent combo, and that was very cute. I don't even think it was even remotely optimal, but I mean it was adorable. Good reset. And we have a lot more damage. You know, Mario's an incredible character. <laughs> Dawson going for the classic run around looking like a maniac and then just forward smash almost randomly. He's really good at Gavin Rose as well. Just like not even dash dancing, he'll just like run and then do the turns and then run some more and then do more turns. And there we have it. Ooh, never mind. Focus living. There's not very many setups that work for Sheik still. He might go for like a weak nair to bouncing fish or needles to bouncing fish, and even then they don't work. Um, I. I feel like deep in my heart, a back throw might have killed there, considering how much rage Mario had. But, you know... Big D elected not to, so I will trust his judgment. Forward tilting the wrong way, and Sheik is fast enough to forward tilt again. Power shields in air, but really all those forward tilts only got him 14 damage. Unfortunately, he just has too much rage for all of his uh, low percent bread and butter combos to work. So, Focus is going to have to get, like, more than a couple solid reads in order to bring this one back. Since he really doesn't have, like, any low percent combos anymore. I feel like he should really just be going for down throw up here. And... the head. National Band, FD picked. Remember, this is a best of five. A question, what does Big D's tag mean? Big D, would you like to elaborate? It means Big Brother. I feel like that side B was unintentional. But regardless, Focus only capitalizes it for uh, 10%. I'm not actually sure whether or not Fox gets anything guaranteed out of a throw, but... Both of these characters seem like they would have a fairly easy time comboing each other. I might be wrong about Fox's ability to combo Sheik. I certainly do know that Sheik should be able to combo Fox. Good presence of mind by Focus to uh, power shield the last hit. I don't know if it was luck or intentionally timing it, but... Goes for a fancy uh, needle gimp. Unfortunately, Big D is A, 
too fast, and B won't fall for that kind of fraudulent stuff. Almost reaching with the up here. I don't think that would have killed. However, Vanish from the Ground reading the roll does kill. And that's, uh, I guess, Sheik's substitute for like a real running up smash. And there we go, with Fox's non-substituted running up smash that kills at incredibly early percents. Um, I almost think that... I'm, I'm no Sheik expert, but it feels like down throw might be a better option against Fox at low percents, just based on the fact that you don't want to send him horizontally because he'll just land, because he has such high falling speed. Good DI by uh, Big D getting out of that forward tilt trap. I don't know if that was SDI or what. Trying to use lasers. It's a little bit risky using lasers because A, you have landing lag, and B, they have no actual flinch. It's not like in past Smash games where they were really free because you got no landing lag afterwards. Big D kind of just like sneaking them in once in a while when he knows that even though Jason theoretically could punish with like a bouncing fish or something, he just isn't. And we have no invincibility, however. First off, I don't think that Fox's down tilt actually hits the edge. I might be wrong on that one. And second, he just doesn't react fast enough. Bit of a bad down air by Focus. He likes to be an advocate for down air as Sheik, even though it looks really scrubby. I gotta say, it doesn't seem to be working out for him. He did get a kill with it last game, though, so I guess I can't be too mad. We're going to FD. Is Dawson staying Fox? Or is he going to try to do a 3-0 with three different characters? Falcon, Falcon, Falcon. D D D D D D. Pit. Dark Pit. Oh my God, dude, Dark Pit. Now Bowser, for those who aren't aware, is just like D D D. Is. <laughs> Now the nice thing about Bowser's dash is, oh, I guess I changed it from Brawl. He used to look like he was kind of like, he, he could have been riding a Mario Kart, so he would have really fit in that uh, stage. Now he actually runs like a normal turtle thing. Bowser's dash was hilarious. But I mean, it looks much more Bowser-like now. Now I feel like this could go either extremely well or horribly wrong. I lost a friendly to this Bowser, however, I was coming right off of melee for like the first time in a while, so John's, 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 uh, also was a friendly. Anyway, bad grenade. Now you might not know this, but Bowser actually takes 2% less from every hit. It's a lie, it's not true at all. Dawson was just like, I did not know that. Um, but he does have light armor all the time, which means, uh, I, I guess needles would probably still flinch him at low percent. I'm pretty sure it's knockback based, so pretty much a single needle probably won't actually flinch Bowser, but at high percents, a single needle will certainly flinch Bowser. Now wouldn't it be cool if like Bowser with his back turned to you could actually withstand more? We can only pray for Sakurai to make these cool little changes. And then everyone would be mad. They'd be like, I can't believe he's getting so dumb with this. Link's shield and brawl was enough. And there you have it. Bowser surviving a sweet spotted Sheik up smash at like 100 and killing with a side B. Now, I don't know what the actual rule for VSB is since it's really never mattered ever because no one plays Bowser. But there's a recent thread on Reddit about how if you initiate a Bowser side, you should definitely actually lose because like technically the other person could recover. And this is assuming a last stock situation. Like if Dawson kills him here with it, obviously Dawson will win. However, if it's last stock and uh, a Bowser side is the final maneuver, it should actually count as a for sure win for Sheik. That won't kill because Bowser too fat. That will kill. Very stylish, perfect pivot into shield by Jason. Really showing the uh, state of the meta in BC. Good tomahawk, or as Esam would say, empty hop into grab. 
and the Nair trips. You know, thanks RNG for guaranteeing that combo. Though to be fair, it looked like it should have comboed even, regardless. Now, cruising down the street in my six phone. Yeah. The thing about Bowser in BC is that because he's bad and nobody knows him and nobody's ever really played him, does Focus even know what Bowser's kill moves are? We play on Wi-Fi a lot. Okay, fine. I thought that this was like a special surprise. Now, I don't actually know because I'm unaware of Bowser, but does he get a guaranteed back arrow out of a ledge drum? The world will never know. I kind of suspect the answer is yes, though. Ooh, the double bouncing fish. It's like flop, 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 I'm a fish. Oh. And... G, G, G.